Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Dom, this is Rock in a Country. I've got a request. Let's see, Michael Richards made a request that I do Brian Mallory's song, Don't Take Your Life for Granted. So Michael said this uh, in the request. He said, I lost a friend on Monday. His name was Guy. He was a singer as well. I have been playing Guy's CDs for the last two days as well as Brian Mallory's. Guy was liked by so many people and could sing a great country song. He was 57. I knew Friday was going to be his last show. Uh, so I had a, a shirt made for him with his name and guitar on it. Thanks, Don, for all you do in letting people hear, hear real country music. I have realized we cannot take life for granted. Our rest in peace to my friend Guy. And I'm going to put the link to Brian Mallory's channel down below. So you could go check out his stuff, too. So let's see what we've got here. I'm sorry on the loss of your friend, too, Michael. I mean, that's all I can say. So uh, I'm not going to rate this. I'm just going to listen to it and comment. Nice beginning. There's a light on. In the hallway, clear across town. Nice voice, too. There's a lady by a window, just staring at the ground. There's a man in a bar room, doesn't seem to care that his lady's back at home. Doesn't think her life's too fair There's a girl who cries quietly Thinking what she could have done To make her daddy so mad He would beat up on her mom about leaving just running away maybe that would make him happy and her mommy not a slave take your life for granted be thankful for every day Taken all away. Well, I know what that's like too. Be thankful for the little things in your family and your friends. Don't take your life for granted. Cause you'll lose out in the end. Curious to see where it goes with this. Off his bar stool and runs out of the bar. Right. Till he sees the light on, he climbs out of his car, rushes in, grabs his family, and tells them that he cares. He's sorry that he hurt them. Treated them unfair. Don't take your life for granted. Be thankful for every day. Cause when you think you've got it made, let me take it. Yeah. 
I wonder what inspired that song, too, because, you know, the germ of the idea to write a song like that, every song has a germ of an idea that says, oh, I'm going to get to work on that one. And sometimes it's observing someone else's life. Sometimes it's in your own. Sometimes it's a movie. Uh, ideas come from multiple places, right? And I wonder what prompted this, because um, sometimes you write a song or it's similar to writing a book, nonfiction book. Maybe it's a memoir and you want to include family members, vignettes that happen within your own family or to friends or people you know, or maybe enemies of yours if you have them. And you don't want to get sued, for example, or you don't want your family members to disown you if you talk about too many things. So you make veiled references to it, but you want to get the point out there without offending uh, people or being disowned by them or being sued by your enemies, for example. There are many reasons why you would be a little bit more cryptic in a song uh, or, or in a book. Um, but in a song like this, I wonder if he hadn't observed something in someone's family or multiple people's families around him, assuming Brian wrote this, and he said, I want to make a point here. I'm not going to say who or what, but I'm just going to describe certain things, maybe change a detail here or there and, and get this message across. Maybe that was the inspiration for it. Maybe that was completely off. But uh, he's got a he's a country artist. I mean, this is legit. This is a legit song in production. I mean, he didn't oversell it. He didn't get preachy. He just made a true country point, a good living point. And there was steel in it. You had your fiddle in it, of course. And it just was a really good song. I said I wasn't going to rate it. I'm not going to, Michael, you know, because of your sentiments about having lost your friend. And I understand that. But, you know, it's a good point. I mean, the little things matter too and you but you have to be paying attention and obviously you can't pay attention to every detail in life it's just there's too many that happens in you know in one minute let alone a full day or week or year but family you know what he's talking about if your family is everything treat them right and uh otherwise you'll pay a price and the price isn't just in the end if they walk away from you it's also in the quality of life you live along the way and that's why it's kind of nice to be, I don't know, look on the bright side and it's like affirming side or like, look at the good things you see in others. Some folks are just a bit over the top, you know, they set expectations and I, and I know, cause I, you don't need a license to become a parent <laughs> and some parents expect way more than they give. And as we know, some people turn violent or abusive or what have you. But I do like in this song that he said the dude left the bar stool and he went into the house and grabbed his family and showed him, said he was sorry, told him he loved them and all that stuff, trying to keep the family together because they were his life. So don't take your life, don't take your family for granted. I like that he that was part of the song. That was a nice touch, kind of showing the way or so. We'll give one option of how you can resurrect uh, a better vibe dynamic within the family so there it is all right michael that was for you my friend in honor of your friend guy and uh, i'll get this I'll, I'll bump this up when i post it i'll try to get it up a bit sooner i know you requested it about a week ago so um anyway have a great day i'll see you on another video keep rocking the country mm -hmm.